Hi everyone, this time a quick dive into Apple's automated device enrollment for macOS devices. In essence, automated device enrollment for Apple devices is a service designed for organizations to simplify the initial setup by automating enrollment and configuration of macOS, iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, all the different types of mobile devices Apple has. It's kind of like Windows Autopilot, except Apple's version came first. It enables the streamlined deployment of Apple devices right out of the box. With ADE, the IT department workload is significantly reduced. Instead of manually configuring each device individually, the process is automated, ensuring every device is set up and ready to use upon shipment. Stay right there as we shift over to my Intune portal and get this all configured. So we have the Intune Admin Center here. I'm going to go down to Devices, down to Mac OS, Mac OS Enrollment. Now in other videos on my channel, you'll see that I've created the Apple MDM push certificate and also linked my Intune to Apple Business Manager. Those are prerequisites for what we're about to do. Right now though, you can see that if I go down to Enrollment Program Tokens, we have this last coffee Intune Enrollment Program Token all ready to go and we obviously have the Apple MDM push certificate in place because all of these different buttons are lit up. But what I don't have is any devices within Intune. So I need to get those devices into Intune. The first thing we have to do is get them into Apple Business Manager. Now my device is not in Apple Business Manager. If I go over to that portal, you can see I have this MacBook Air, but if I go to my MDM, which is this last coffee Intune MDM and show my devices here, you can see that there are no devices within this tenant and the Mac that I'm trying to enroll is not in Apple Business Manager yet. So let's fix that. We're going to enroll this device from the out of box experience. Now, if I just quickly show you the screen on the Mac device right now, what you can see is that it's at the choose a language screen and I haven't got this in Apple Business Manager so it's not going to start automated device enrollment once I choose the language. I need to fix that. The way we fix that is by heading over to the Apple Configurator app on my iPhone. So I'll choose Apple Configurator. As you can see, it's looking for devices to add. Now all I need to do is lift up the phone and take it over to the Mac, bring it close to the Mac, and it will automatically start configuring. Let's take a look what happens. I'm going to choose the language. After a few seconds, it says add this Mac to your organization. And now it wants me to sign in. Now that I've signed in, it's looking for devices to add again. But we're done. We just need to take a look at the MacBook Air that I've enrolled just now. And that's all done from the Apple Configurator perspective. Very, very simple when configuring a Mac from an iPhone. The device itself is still saying connecting to a network. It's connecting to my home Wi-Fi right now. And then in a few moments, it'll be ready in Apple Business Manager for me to link to Intune and then start configuring. And finally, on the Mac itself, it says the Mac has been added and it's been added to my organization. From the Apple Business Manager portal, we'll go to devices again, remove that filter. As you can see, this MacBook Air now that was released originally is now actually saying devices added by Apple Configurator. If I choose this, I need to edit the MDM server and assign it to the following MDM, which is Last Coffee Intune away from Apple Configurator because that's not the organization that I want to do automated device enrollment from. So we'll choose continue here and ask if you want to confirm, choose confirm and in a few moments it will be assigning that to my MDM server. Next we'll go back over to Intune, choose enrollment, down to enrollment program tokens, into last coffee Intune, into devices, we don't have a device yet, We'll choose sync, give it a few moments to sync, and hopefully the device will appear in this list for me to use in a moment. Okay, less than 30 seconds and that device is now ready within Apple Business Manager and Intune for me to use. And there it is. The next thing we need to do is create a profile that we'll use for automated device enrollment. Choose profiles and we'll use a, create a Mac OS profile. I'm going to call this Mac OS automated device enrollment. We will use user affinity and modern authentication. And we will do not do a locked enrollment in my case because I want to 
have this a bit more flexibility with this because it's my lab environment and my personal Mac. So in this case, I'm not going to lock to do locked enrollment. Please take a look at what locked enrollment means. Tooltip here um, says that it prevents the user from removing the management profile through system preferences or terminal. In my case, I really need that flexibility in case my lab, for whatever reason, gets destroyed and I don't have access to it. But in your case, in a production environment, you should really look at using locked enrollments to prevent users from removing that profile. Next, we'll go into Setup Assistant tab and we're going to choose what department. I'm going to call it IT department and add the number. And here we get to choose which screens are shown during automated device enrollment, during the out-of-box experience. In my case, I want to hide all of them because I'm going to configure these all separately once I'm in the device itself. But for you, you may want to ensure that some of these things, such as Apple ID or location services and that kind of thing, are all in place. Next, we'll choose Next. And create that. We don't need to assign it to anyone just yet. We don't assign it from the profile. We assign it from the device itself. So we'll head to Devices, choose the checkbox, and choose Assign Profile, and choose the macOS Automated Device Enrollment Profile that I've just created. Next, we'll choose Assign. And in the Profile Assigned column, just going to wait for that to update. Now, the Profile Assigned date and time has been set. So we're all good. We're ready to start configuring this device. Head back to my Mac. I'll choose Get Started. Choose English. And continue on the United Kingdom. I'm not going to set any accessibility things. We already have Wi-Fi in place. So we'll choose Continue. And you can see that it says Remote Management enables the administrator of this company to set up email and network accounts, install and configure apps, and manage this computer's settings. So it says we're going to automatically configure your computer. Let's choose continue. And we just need to log in via Intune. So this is my end user. And now we're at the stage where we need to configure a computer account. Now there's no way to automatically create a computer account using the Azure account for this user. So we need to create a local account for this user to use. Now we haven't enabled location services, so it hasn't automatically figured out my time zone. So I'm going to choose set time zone using current location and then turn on location services. And it's found me. We'll choose continue. And there it is without hardly any screens at all asking me to click here and, and choose terminal conditions and all that kind of stuff, without any of that happening, my device is automatically deployed and pretty much ready to go. Let's just quickly check on the device itself uh, for the company portal that I deployed. There it is right there. So we just sign in. And after a few seconds, I'm signed in and ready to go. Now, that, as you can hopefully see, that was a very simple deployment process. It wasn't quite as automated as uh, an autopilot deployment might be, but almost all of the difficult bits there were completely automated for the end user. They had to log in a couple of times, but generally that was an incredibly slick and quick process to do from the engineer perspective and definitely from the end user perspective. See you next time.